We want to bring in now former Los Angeles Police Chief Bill Bratton. Good to have you with us this morning. morning. There's so much speculation, as we heard about, and we heard in Ben's piece, and there are all these theories. But frankly, we're very short on facts, or at least facts that have been released. If you're part of this investigation, what do you make of all these little tidbits that we have? Well, all the options are still on the table. This was one avenue of investigation that has moved quite far along. Uh, from this incident, they will now be able to examine the weapon mm -hmm. that the uh, gentleman had in his possession. They'll be able to question all of his friends relative to his activities. Weapon will be key. Also, what they had in the search warrant that they uh, supposedly had. What were they looking for? He was described as a person of interest. Person of interest in police parlance can be a person that might have information about a crime. Somebody who actually they think may have been involved in the crime and moves up to a suspect level. Uh, there's any number of things that can uh, make a person a person of interest. When there's so much interest in a case and it's such a high profile murder like this one, how does that affect the investigation at all? Well, uh, all compliments to the Beverly Hills Police Department, Chief Dave Snowden. They have done a phenomenal job from a police perspective of putting a lid on this. In, in the very gossip-centric city of Los Angeles, TMZ, the rest of them are getting bits and pieces. They're not getting the whole story. Uh, the police have done a phenomenal job keeping a lid on this, which allows them to pursue all these uh, uh, different leads, all these different avenues of investigation. And I know it's frustrating to the public and to the media, but it's the way police work is supposed to be done. Well, we're also probably used to things being racked up so quickly, whether it be on a, on a police show or just in general, because we're so used to getting information in such, mm -hmm. a, in such a timely and immediate manner, right. that it makes it hard to sit back and say, why don't we know anything? Exactly. That uh, So that uh, in this case, because it is so high profile, there are probably phenomenal amounts of information coming in. You just had on your, your little uh, lead-in TMZ, for example, that is taking credit for one uh, avenue uh, of the investigation. I think uh, uh, Mr. Walsh from America's Most Wanted is claiming credit for the lead that led to this particular gentleman mm -hmm. who just took his life. So everybody's getting into the game with their own theories about what's happening. Everyone's got their hand in here. One of the things the TMZ was reporting is that they had obtained a copy of this will, a multi-million dollar, one of the mm -hmm. copies that they obtained. Um, and there were also some, some details in there about what was left to whom and how and a, a family member may have been uh, not exactly left out of the will, but not really left a lot of money, a, a little bit like $10. Well, let's pursue that aspect just briefly, someone. that uh, you're left out of the will, are you now going to kill the person because you're not getting anything, or are you going to spend a few years trying to get back in their favor to get back in the will? Uh, it's all speculation at this stage of the game. Uh, a couple of weeks ago I appeared on this show and not much has changed since two weeks ago in terms of what the potential theories are. It's still a great Hollywood whodunit. It is. Well, hopefully we'll get an answer uh, well, one of these days, we'll especially an for her on, family. It would be nice for them to have We'll some get an answers. answer on this avenue of the investigation, like you say, for the family to basically give them some peace of mind. Bill Bratton, always good to have you with us. Great Thank you.